What's going on everybody? Welcome to this installment of Renegade's Reviews. I am the Renegade JJ Williams and on today's installment I am going to review the 2005 version of Fantastic Four. This version starring, and I know I'm going to butcher this name up so forgive me, Eon Grufford as Reed Richards, Chris Evans as Johnny Storm, Jessica Alba as Sue Storm, Michael Chiklis as Ben Grimm, and Julian McMahon is Victor Von Doom. For those of you that don't know the basic story of the Fantastic Four, a group of astronauts gain superpowers after a cosmic radiation exposure and must use them to oppose the plans of their enemies, Dr. Victor Von Doom. Um, I thought it was a fun superhero movie. I've seen this a number of times, so this wasn't my first time watching it. It's definitely not on the level of other comic book movies that had come out at the time, i.e. X-Men, Spider-Man, or Batman. But nonetheless, I thought it was very entertaining, and I still feel it's entertaining. Chris Evans, pre-Captain America, does a really good job as being the snot-nosed, smart-alecky Johnny Storm. Jessica Alba as always, looks smoking hot as Sue Storm. And Michael Chiklis, I think, was the real star of this movie here and the way that he played Ben Grimm, a.k.a. The Thing, so that you're very sympathetic of him. You feel his pain when he turns into The Thing and his wife doesn't want anything to do with him. And he finds love in a blind woman who can't see his hideous exterior. She only loves him for who he is on the inside. You feel for him. I didn't really care for Eon as Reed Richards. I thought it was lacking a little bit. He didn't seem like he was leadership material. At any time I thought that Chris Evans or Michael Chiklis were the leader as opposed to him. He didn't really assert himself in the way that you need Reed Richards to be assertive. And Julian McMahon looked like a poor man's version of Joaquin Phoenix to me in his portrayal of Dr. Doom. I mean, you didn't even really get to the real heart of Dr. Doom until about the last 30 minutes of the movie. And the mask that they used, I just thought, was lackluster. You know, for anybody that knows the character, it looked like a Power Ranger reject mask to me, honestly. Or like it was supposed to be a, a Green Goblin mask prototype or something from the Spider-Man movies. It just did not look scary or intimidating to me. Um, tomorrow on the show, I'm going to review The Rise of the Silver Surfer. We're going to be building this up to finally get to the new Fantastic Four movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think. Where does the Fantastic Four stand in the realm of comic book movies to you? Do you guys like it? Do you not like it? Let's not even try to compare it to the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we've got right now, but just compare it to the likes of X-Men, Spider-Man, Daredevil, Elektra, Ghost Rider, those movies. Where does the Fantastic Four fall in there for you guys? Let me know. As always, feel free to send me suggestions on what movies you'd like for me to review either here in the comment box on YouTube, or you can tweet them to me, at R-O-W-J-J-Williams. Request my movie list. I will send it to you, no problems. And I look forward to doing more requested reviews from you guys in the coming days and weeks. As of this recording, I have officially received three requested movies. One has already gone up, that was They Live. The other two will be coming soon in the coming days and weeks. 
So until then, until tomorrow when I review The Rise of the Silver Surfer, I am the renegade J.J. Williams, and I will see you tomorrow right here on the Casa D18 Studios channel.